They're off and trotting. CT's Ridge Boy on the far outside. Quickly on the rail, a slice of grace. As they approach the first turn and now coming on between horses, Mocha Java gets the lead. Jumping off stride further back in the field, that is Budika. Eight are on gate as they trot the first turn and head of the quarter. Moving away on top, Mocha Java by a length and a half. On her heels in second comes Landing Strip as they move by the opening quarter. It is Mocha Java in front, Landing Strip is in the second. After that comes Bright Expectation toward the rail of Slice of Grace as they move past us. That is Can's Tab Speed. Here comes Bright Expectations moving up stride. The, the four Shiny Sunday has just made a break. Nurse Mo is next as they round the lower turn. CT's Ridge Boy back down trotting in seventh up on the outside. Comes Shiny Sunday trailing the field. Budika. They're at the half in 59 seconds flat. Up the back stretch. It is Mocha Java who continues to lead the way. Bright expectation surging up on the outside second. Landing strip is now third. A slice of grace holding her spot along the pylons in fourth. Moving up on the outside, Mer Nurse Mo is next. Followed by Can Tab Speed sweeping up on the outside. Come shiny Sunday as they race by three quarters. After that, come CT's Ridge Boy and far back to Bodica as they move by three quarters, jumping off stride on the lead. That was Mocha Java. Nurse Mo inherits the top spot. We have breakers everywhere. Looks like we're down to four. And coming on the outside, here comes Landing Strip. It is Landing Strip and Bright Expectation. Landing Strip in front. Bright Expectation was second, Shiny Sunday from far back third. Can Tab Speed was fourth, and the Breakers after that in 159. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Keg stand between horses, long shot along the rail. As they duke this one out, trotting down the back stretch. Sweeping up on the outside, Golden Wall Oz is now three deep. They are quarter pole bound in between horses. The favorite keg stand has brushed to the front. Along the rail, that's long shot in the second. Golden Wall Oz is up on the outside, third. Followed by Majestic J, top rank just for tricks. I won't back down Oz, TNT, Blue Chip, and Yock and Hager. That's the field as they trot past the stands. Golden Wall has brushed to the front. Yannick steps on the gas. And here comes the favorite keg stand rolling to command once again. Long shot trying to decide what to do. Stay in or skim the pylons as they trot around the lower turn to the half mile pole. Bouncing right along with a length and a half advantage. It is keg stand who continues to lead the way. Golden Wall Oz is second. Driving up on the outside. TNT Blue Chip is next. Further back in the field, jumping off stride. That is, I won't back down Oz as they trot into three quarters. Keg stand continues to lead the way. Keg stand on top. Here is the challenger in TNT blue chip up on the outside as they trot by three quarters. Nearest the rail, Golden Wall Oz is next. Racing by three quarters in a sharp 126. First five are side by side and stride for stride as they move to the top of the stretch. Keg stand continues to lead the way. TNT Blue Chip is up on the outside as they trot through the lane under confident handling. Keg stand continues to lead. Going to be a battle for second. Keg stand coast to coast. Looks like TNT Blue Chip was second, very tight for third, and it's unofficial here in 154 and 1. They're off and trotting per lucky using that rail advantage is out early lead. Here comes Kill Their King sweeping up on the outside as they roll down the back stretch. Along the rail, sweet Mr. Pine Tucky has the lead. Kill Their King, three wide on the outside, now surges into the lead. Bottle up along the rail, that is per lucky who is into third. Ranging up on the outside, Platinum Oz to fourth. 
After that comes Susie, Sister Jack, Lucky Storman, and It's a Herbie. That's the field of eight, and they're on gate as they trot by the opening quarter. Kildare King on his throne will carve this one out. The five platinum Oz is off stride further back in the field. Rolling along here at a pretty good clip in the third. It is Kildare King who continues to lead the way well in hand right now. A little bit closer now in second, sweet Mr. Pine Tucky. And they're at the halfway point, 56 and 1. Straighten it out for their long journey down the back stretch. Kildare King continues to lead the way. Followed by sweet Mr. Pine Tucky on his heels in second. Per Lucky is third. As they approach three quarters, Susie's sister is gaining back along the rail. After that comes Jack, further back in the field toward the rail. It's a Herbie. Up on the outside, Lucky Storm in his seventh and far back to the breaker. Plasm Oz, as they race by three quarters, a relentless pace in here. 124 and 2. Kildare King brings them on home. Inching up on the outside, sweet Mr. Pine Tucky. Here comes Per Lucky, fanned out wide in the drive to the wire. Kildare King, Kildare King is off stride. Taking over command, sweet Mr. Pine Tucky and Per Lucky. Sweet Mr. Pine Tucky wins it. Per Lucky was second. Please hold all tickets. Concerning the late breaker here, number eight, Kildare King deep in the stretch. And there they go. They're off fan trotting Flurry and Yanaba. Cotton Candy Cutie along the rail as they trot down the back stretch. Yanaba between horses gets the lead. Yanaba in front, circling up on the outside. Here comes a Dormi to take over. Triple C is along the rail, third. Moving midway on the turn. Flurry is now fourth. Jumping off stride further back in the field. That is the seven, Adore Me. She quickly gathers herself back in stride. We'll have to go the long mile in here. She's just made another break. And by the opening quarter in 28 and 3, like a runaway in the front end, the big mare trots clear by a half a dozen. It is Yanaba. Cotton Candy Cutie second. Flurry is third. The favorite eternally is about 10 lengths from the front. From out of the second tier, St. Antoine is next. Pioneer Oz skimming along the rail. After that comes Disclosure up on the outside. Adore me. And trailing the field, it's the four silent night. They are pretty well spaced out in here. Up the back stretch, the half 58. Yanaba looking in cruise control right now. Yanaba on top by about eight lengths. Here comes the favorite up on the outside. Flurry is now closing quickly in the center as Yanaba will take this field by three quarters. It is Yanaba eternally, still has a lot of work to do, and timing is ticking away. Sweeping up on the outside, Pioneer Oz, as they race by three quarters. Wow, 124 and one, top of the stretch. They're in the stretch, Yanaba continues to lead the way, eternally breathing fire down the middle of the racetrack, deep stretch. Yanaba looking for the wire. She's going to get there. Yanaba coast to coast. Eternally was second. Pioneer Oz was third. Followed by Flurry. All unofficial here in 154 and 1. And there they go. They're off fan pacing Prescott's Hope between horses. Ideal ace along the rail. From out of the second tier, Bryson and Mission Command. And we have a scramble royal here. There are four horses across the track vying for command. Kentucky Lady surges to the front. Moving up on the outside, Caviar Richmond is in the second. Ideal Ace skimming the rail in third. Out of the second tier, that is Jordan Patton and Bryson. As a side wheel by the opening quarter mile pole and from the outside, Caviar Richmond now strikes the front for Johnny Mack. Coming right back out, Devin Tharps and Kentucky Lady. Might be a little bit of a premature tug here, approaching the half mile pole. Ideal ace, Bryson is next. Followed by the old timer, Prescott's Hope. Moving up on the outside, time to play the game. Mission Command got buried along the rail. Same case scenario for the other grandpa in here. 
Pacific Stride as they hit the half mile pole, moving up on the outside. Joe McDude and shuffled way back, Sunny and 80. That's the field of 10 as they hit the half in 57 seconds flat. Finally clearing and taking over command, Devin Tharpson, Kentucky Lady. They'll try to stroll on home. It is still my Kentucky Lady in front. Kentucky Lady in front, sweeping up on the outside. The old-timer, Prescott's Hope. We'll see how good he is today for Andrew McCarthy. Racing by three quarters and 126 and one. Caviar Richmond along the rail. Time to play the game is in between horses. Ideal Ace had the rail and couldn't use it. He shuffled seemingly out of it here as the field straightens away into the stretch. It is Kentucky Lady, Prescott's Hope, Caviar Richmond, Ideal A's time to play the game. It is all Kentucky Lady in front. Prescott's Hope was second, Caviar Richmond third, maybe the one Ideal A's fourth, and it's very tight for that minor share here. The time of the mile, 155 and one. Field is now in motion, and there they go. They're off fan pacing. Ms. Dionysus Bluegrass is going to test the waters early on. Don't fence me in. Moving up from between horses. Queen of Success is on the move. Followed by Ain't the Same Without You. Bourgeois Hanover couldn't use her three hole. She shuffled back early on. From out of the second tier, the 10, always going to be you, gets away next. Moving up on the outside, style for mile, gal in a ruckus, and look at my rap sheet. And nearby the opening quarter, 26 and 1, forging to the front. Queen of success, and here comes the queen up on the outside, Boudoir Hanover. She will have to be giant here as she is uncovered, but picking off rivals one by one. Field of 10 is side by side and stride for stride. They're at the half. Queen of Success leads the way. Don't fence me in being carted along in second. Doing the dirty work. Boudoir Hanover up on the outside. Ain't the same without you. Shuffle back along the rail. Fourth. Followed by Ideal and Fun between horses. Nearest the rail. Misdiagnosis Bluegrass. As they continue to side wheel by three quarters. Trying to go all the way in the front end. Queen of Success. Don't fence me in a second. Still living on the outside. Bourgeois Hanover. Nearest the rail comes. Ain't the same without you. Ideal fun is up on the outside. Nearest the rail. Miss Dionysus Bluegrass. As they strike three quarters in one, 22 and four. They're into the stretch. Off the pylons. Don't fence me in. Queen of success. Up the rail. Ain't the same without you. Driving finish. Photo between ain't the same without you and Queen of Success. Five-way photo here in the sixth. And there they go. They're off fan trotting. The sixes on a break. Swan of Dreams. Pilgrim's Image, Keystone, Apache, Southern Swan Man are all out for the lead. And they are really scrambling for a position as they circumnavigate the top turn. Off from between horses, Keystone Apache grabs the racetrack. The late lever, Southern Swan Man, is in the second. After that comes really something, a three-year-old chasing down these older rivals today. We'll see how good she is off the bench as they trot by the opening quarter in a fast 27 and two fifths. Further back in the field, Pilgrim's Image about ready to strike. After that comes the one some chapter, followed by Yara. Gap of five lengths, Lady Remy in the trailer after the break, Swan of Dreams. And they are pretty well spaced out in here as they wend their way through that lower turn and trot to the half mile pole. No reservations today so far for Keystone Apache. First to flush. Coming with a rush, here's Whaley something moving up on the outside to attack. Followed by Southern Swan Man dropping back slightly in third. Ranging up on the outside, Pilgrim's Image toward the rail. Some chapter is next. Yara cannot go on as they approach three quarters. After that comes Lady Remy and trailing the field, Swan of Dreams. Racing by three quarters in 124 and 3 around the far turn, and the favorite has struck the front. 
Good looking performance so far today for the three year old. Really something. Top of the stretch. They're into the stretch. Really something brings them on home with something in reserve. Here is an absolute rocking chair drive today for Andrew McCarthy. Really something. Some chapter was second, followed by Pilgrim's Image in third. Southern Swan Man, Keystone Apache, Lady Remy, Yara, and far back to the trailer. Swan of Dreams, it's unofficial here. And there they go. They're off and pacing. All or nothing's going to leave. I did it my way quickly on the rail as they race down the backstretch. I did it my way with a short lead and now sweeping up on the outside. All or nothing goes on by. Wolf Track gets away in third. After that, Mare of the Moment fourth. Acoustic is next, gapping early on. Caviar Camden, the tailgate in the first eighth of a mile is Terminator. They're pretty well strung out here by the opening quarter. Pacing away on top in 26 and 3. Racing past the stands. It's all or nothing who cuts this one out. Salivating with this golden journey. Andrew McCarthy and I did it my way. Wolf Tracks taken back into third. Little Trappy Gated there. Mayor of the moment is fourth. Moving up on the outside. Acoustic is uncovered from fifth. Caviar Camden to this point. Sixth. The tailgate terminator. They're flying by the half. And 55 and 1. They straighten out for their long journey down the backstretch. It is all or nothing. That will be his name from here on home. Followed on his helmet in second by I Did It My Way with a couple breakers further back in the field. That was Mayor of the Moment and Acoustic. Looks like we're down to three as they pace by three quarters. All or nothing. Coming off the pylons, I Did It My Way. Following the leaders, Wolf Track not without a shot. Racing by three quarters in a fast 122 and four. Top of the stretch. They're in the stretch, all or nothing. His strong, he's got some breathing room now. I did it my way, no excuse. Looks like he is not good enough right now. It is all or nothing, coast to coast. I did it my way, second. Wolf Tracks was third. Caviar Camden, Terminator, Acoustic, and Mayor of the Moment, far back. They're often pacing the two getaway sticks is on a break. Down the back stretch, rock this town with that rail advantage. Gets out of there on top, sweeping up on the far outside. Everything Z Tam, he is leaving today. Shuffle back along the rail. Gussie's trump card is into third. On the top turn, Burning Rubber is now fourth, followed by Tobin's Nato. After that, Found My Rock, Born to Run Oz, and trailing the field after that costly break, Getaway Sticks. Racing past the opening quarter in 27 and 3. Past the stands for the first time. Rolling right along, it is everything Z Tam. Rock this town being carted along beautifully in second. Gussie's trump card is third. Burning rubber has to do that. He's about three lengths from the pace setter. As they round the lower turn and now hit the halfway juncture. Moving up on the outside, Tobin's native found my rock, born to run Oz. And Getaway Sticks is trying to fight his way back into it. They cover the half in a crisp 56 and 4 up the backstretch. Everything Z Tam is trying to make every pole a winning one. Rock This Town ends up cutting her own mile in second, approaching three quarters. After that comes Gussie's Trump Card. Two more lengths in the burning rubber, picking up some rivals born to run Oz around the final turn. Tobin's native is sixth. Found My Rock is seventh, trailing from the onset getaway sticks, racing by three quarters while he's not fooling around on the front end. John McDonald and everything Z Tam. Everything Z Tam, Gussie's trump card is the only danger there in deep stretch. Everything Z Tam, coast to coast. Gussie's trump card was second, Rock This Town third. Burning Rubber was fourth. It's unofficial in 155. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Aerodash and Telstar on the far outside. 
Mr. Tanaki is now gaining nicely toward the rail. Followed out by the favorite sure thing captain there down the backstretch. Pacing away on top, Mr. Tanaki on top by a half a length. Sweeping up on the outside, there goes Billy V to take over. A really hard to handle one sure thing captain. In fact, he has jumped off stride and there's a monkey wrench here. As they race by the opening quarter, still off stride further back in the field, sure thing captain. They open up here in 28 and 2, racing past the stands. It is Billy V on top by a length. After that, Mr. Tanaki is second. Mixed emotion with the first flight, third. Smile for the camera is next. Followed by Sunmaster, who moves to the outside. Telstar is underway. Aradash follows the leaders as they move midway through the turn. Guitars Cadillac has some work to do. The mayor, Alice Hill, is next. And still a little bit rough back there, further back in the field. Sure thing, Captain. They're at the half in 58-4. and four. A little bit of a breather here for the pace setter. Billy V on top. Mr. Tanaki second. Floating up on the outside. Mixed emotion is third. As they continue down the back stretch. Here's Sunmaster from out of the tier with a big shot. Racing by three quarters. Billy V continues to lead. Mixed emotion looking the pace setter right in the eye. Mr. Tanaki, you have no excuse from here, dude. As they circle three quarters at 127 and two, they're fanned out three wide on the drive to the wire. Mixed emotion between horses. Billy V along the rail. And here comes Mr. Tanaki in guitars, Cadillac on the far outside. But it's Mr. Tanaki to the wire. Mr. Tanaki wins it. Billy V was second. Mixed emotion third. It's tight for fourth here at 156 and one. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Our case, Peaches is leaving. Out from between horses, Sage on stage and Ashley's Amanda as they sprint down the backstretch. Moving up on the far outside of takeover command, it's Fox Valley Cha-Cha trying to clear by a length and a half. Fuddled by Ashley's Amanda up on the outside trying to get the two-hole. Filling that gap, it's Dance and Ice who is into third. Fuddled by Sage on stage who is fourth. Going to be a long mile for our case, Peaches, hung out to dry. As they roll by this opening quarter, 27-4, and four, pacing past the stands. Fox Valley Cha-Cha cuts this one out. Dance and I second. Ashley's Amanda is third. Sage on stage is next. Still a long mile for our case, Peaches, along the rail. Followed by Lions Mickey, Cold Road Soda, moves up on the outside. Along the rail comes Fox Valley Janice. And trailing in the field, Sugar Cookie, they're at the half. 57-4 and four up the backstretch. Fox Valley Cha-Cha continues to lead the way. Dance and I's being taken along nicely. Moving up on the outside, Sage on stage, doing no dirty work. She is uncovered as they approach three quarters along the rail. Ashley's Amanda is fourth. Moving up on the outside, Lions Mickey. Still on the outside, RK's Peaches. As they race by three quarters, Cold Road Soda. Fox Valley Janice, they're racing by three quarters in 126 and 1. Beginning to get away on the front end. It is still Fox Valley Cha-Cha who continues to lead the way. Fox Valley Cha-Cha is all alone, making a dozen raw and a saddest law. She is geared down. Fox Valley Cha-Cha coming on late as Cold Road Soda in a three-way photo for third. It's unofficial in 155 and two. They're fanned out four wide on the drive to the wire. Uncle Cy, Spoxy's girl, Winyard Hanover in the middle of the racetrack. They're going to be fighting for minor shares in here. Spoxy's girl strikes the front. Spoxy's girl, Uncle Cy, Winyard Hanover, Scrappy Sam, finishing fifth Skyline Hanover, unofficial in 155 and 3.